Hello everyone, welcome to the session Transforming the Retail Experience with Edge Compute Stack. We have myself, Abhilasha Chaudhary here, talking to the first section and then my colleague will join us. He's here. How many of you actually um, are in the retail industry? Yeah. Great. Great. How many of you would do retail today? So you go to the store, I meant when you do retail, I mean you are interacting with retail on a regular basis. Of course, everyone here. Great. So in this presentation, we'll cover how Compute Stack really helps with the retail transformation. And COVID really progressed that to the next level. We knew of the brick and mortar and then COVID hit. Everybody was stuck in the houses and everyone's suddenly everything had to be in this digital mode and whoever was slow in getting to that trace first really was losing out. So we saw a lot of stores close down. Not a pretty picture, but that was the reality. So keeping that in mind, when we talk about um, your, your edge compute stack, some disclaimers. This presentation may contain, you can read all of that, and you must have seen this in some other presentations of ours already. Gartner predicts by 2025, we will have 50% of our data generated outside of the edge, outside a data center or a cloud. And this is representing that we have a lot of application architectures that are getting very distributed out from the cloud to the edge. What is edge? It's a location where business operations happen, where a lot of your data is generated. And now with the business going into digital mode and uh, ever in, in evolving, they have a need for inferencing this data. And not all of this data needs to go back to the cloud. So they need capabilities at the edge with something that can not only extend apps to the edge, which is online processes that are extended the physical world into the real world. So think of click and collect. This is buy online, collect and store. Not only the, that kind of application plugging into real time, you going into a store and picking up your items or returning your items, but it's also talking about data that you send into the cloud because you want to now do inferencing and machine learning because you want to enhance your business processes at the store. In that example, think about someone of the clickstream data analysis, right? So you have click and collect, and then that data gets sent to the cloud, and analysis running on it on how the customers are interacting with your products, how you can make it more efficient, what should be the placement in the store so you can sell more and make more margins, profit margins. That also then also means that you can use some of the data in the store real time with local loop processing. Example being, if you want to do uh, maintenance checks or you want to do theft, det theft detection, um, think of a virtual point of sale where your self-checkout is working. And this is an actual real case where someone's checking out two, two bottles of wine and they do one cheap bottle of wine <laughs> and they scan it twice but the second bottle is your real high-end wine, which they save for the weekend. And there's no way to, for the managers, the store manager, to really find out that that's just happened. So with local loop processing, you can quickly find out that there's something, a mismatch, a camera is checking on the physical scan item, and it matches real time to the price that it should be priced at, and it alerts the manager to go check in with this customer to see did they get the right thing <laughs> scanned and checked for any theft right there, real time? That's capable and possible only because you have edge compute at that edge location. So, unique challenges in retail. Not, not just that retail ha needs all this tech. There is a scale that creates enormous and widely dispersed systems because you have thousands of these retail stores. It also has this mismatch of hardware and software that causes a very not well aligned, you know, hardware and software cycle, life cycle management. There's increased need for agility for business, and you need an ecosystem that is very cost, not costly, and it, it is 
taking into account the cost economics for the retail stores. And it needs to have, again, deploying updates, patches, maintenance, security. It needs to be simple for them to do this for distributed edge at thousands of locations. Very unique to retail. This is, again, why we have the need for digitalization, but also differentiation. It needs to still account for how do we make sure it's the cost economics still makes sense for it. In that, the problem statement to achieve the speed and the scale at the right cost within the constraints of edge, considering the retail store economics become really important. That come, brings me to this slide, which talks about the store of the future. If you're not doing this, you're already behind. The, the fact is, retails have really thin margins, but at the same time, if they're not evolving and creating that omnipresent experience for their customers, they are losing out on that customer experience and losing out that customer loyalty. So this slide is actually depicting where there's need for edge computing, and it's doing different things. There's an automation that's happening that can be happening at the inventory analysis step. There is also things like loss prevention that's also happening at, with the facial recognition and you know, using computer vision. There's customized marketing. So how do they place, like I said, how do they place, place the, the, the items they want to sell? How is the tracking? What is the traffic flow in the store? All that at their fingertips, they need this. Without this, retail is not really going to make that leap of how do they make their profits. This is why Edge Compute Stack. Not only am I helping consumers to consume and the employees to help the consumers consume, I am improving the employee's experience because I'm you know, automating the operational side of the house. I'm also helping with the digital transformation at the retail store. With the Edge Compute Stack, this is possible. And that's why Edge Compute Stack for retail is so important. This deck slide actually is showing you how in a store, with certain examples of a fraud and loss, you have computer vision being used, or it could be a customer experience where you have a spill in the store. You can see it, you can react to it. Also, there's the automation of the actual, on the inventory analysis and inventory Fulfill, micro center fulfill, fulfillment side that's using the same stack, edge compute stack, that can run your applications and support all of those different use cases. So it helps with removing the sprawl of the hardware. You don't need different hardware boxes to do, do these different applications. You can be running VMs, containerized applications, so TKG runtime, it shows you containerized applications, or just your vanilla virtual machines, or you could be doing VDI. So, this with the horizon, you, you know, the desktop, and the customer, all this can be running on the edge compute stack. It's a simple use case. It not only helps retail do the innovation in pockets and see that they're successful, but also then scale it out to the edges and do make that innovation available, you know, at scale. There is this whole inferencing AI, AML that they use now with the stack. They can actually do the prediction of demand and match the key investment. And so it's not loan or loan, no longer a crystal ball they're trying to look into and don't know where to invest or what they want to do with the retail store and how they want to scale it. It's no longer that. They, they can predict demand. They can match the investment in the key areas. They can, they can scale that up. And lastly, they have a platform approach. The platform approach is flexible, and it scales up as they need it. So you could be doing virtual machines. Tomorrow you want to roll out a containerized or a Kubernetes application, modern application. The same stack can support that. So it's purpose-built to support all your needs. Platform for a vision, and it's use case based. We're not doing this alone. We have a lot of partners partnering up with us. We've talked about TrueScale as an example. And we, we are in this journey with the ecosystem that's supporting this. That brings me back into Eric's section of the presentation. So I'll have him join us here. We'll go more into what the edge compute stack can really, how that's set up and how that's going to help.
Okay, thank you, Abby, for your presentation. So, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. So, you're probably wondering, what is Edge Compute Stack? So, let's try and I'll try to give you a fairly high level overview of what, what this is. So, first of all, at the bottom, you see Edge Infrastructure. So, Edge Compute Stack, VMware Edge Compute Stack, it's the infrastructure that allows you to run additional services. So, in this case, you have the First of all, you have the orchestrator, the VMware Edge Cloud orchestrator that we announced at Explore this week, uh, uh, Vico. Um, that is that allows you to manage not only your legacy SD-WAN appliances or SASE appliances, Edge appliances, but now the, the true Edge compute stack that we're going to talk about. And then you have the servers themselves. We can see like edge clusters. It can be a single appliance, multiple uh, servers. So that's really your infrastructure. But then, what does that allow you to do? You have, you can run extra ser additional services on top. So such as SASE, VMware SASE, private 5G, so th which allow you to modernize and digitize your stores. So SASE for you know connecti secure connectivity to the cloud or between your your branches or data center, private 5G that gives you a um, stronger connectivity on you know on premise. And then on and then you have the AI ML services. So Abby talked about that when it comes to partnership with you know Nvidia for example. What does that allow you to do? Like run computer vision um, um, at the edge. And then you have IoT observability for you know, ENI, for example. And then at the very top, you have the edge native applications. So those are really the applications that are critical to your line of business, right? So it's great that you have those services and the infrastructure, but this is here to um, enable you to modernize and, and, and digitize um, your stores. So, Edge Compute Stack. So let's take a look at what's on the right side, right hand side. I don't know if it's visible, but there are some keywords here that are common and true to v the VMware value proposition. So consolidate hardware, consistent management, reduce security, and open platform ecosystem. That's what, again, what Abby had alluded to earlier. So consolidate hardware, consistent management. This is where you have your, you know, single location um, to like run your applications and then have um, you know, s single pane of glass, the same look and feel of what your IT organizations are used to when it comes to data center, for example, right? So that's one. Then, then reduce security where you have, you can run, again, additional services such as SD-WAN for like secure connectivity and also like we have an open platform um, ecosystem of like hardware vendor, hardware vendors, um, and then also like ISV partners to be able to complete the entire ecosystem. Now on the right hand side, again, you have the edge compute stack itself. You have your orchestrator, VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator, that system cloud allows you to manage your hundred stores or like thousands of stores, right? So as an, a retailer, a major retailer, for example, you have Thousands of stores. How do you like manage this at scale? It's it's you know without a single pane of glass that becomes like almost impossible. So with Edge Compute Stack, you can run your containers and your VMs, right? So if you're like trying, you're transforming your stores. You may not be at the point where you can run VM and migrate your VM straight to containers, right? We I've had discussions with with customers, and this is not where they're at, right? So this is their vision, but this is not where they can be tomorrow, right? So being able to, allowing you to be able to run containers and VMs together. And then you have low latency for real-time workloads that may not be quite relevant for retailers, but in the manufacturing space, it is. Then you have GPUs, being able to leverage GPUs with our partner NVIDIA, for example, um, that's critical for computer vision. And then again, being able to layer that with services such as SD-WAN and uh, VMware SD-WAN and SASE or VMware vSAN, for example. So next, so this is just an example or use case of what you could do with VMware Edge Compute Stack, right? So uh, this is a solution that our um, industry solutions 
team had launched, and you know, Aaron is sitting in the back over there, so if you have questions, um, reach out to him. Um, but in, uh, here you see the traditional point of sale install, right? So you have a single, or you have an individual point of sale device. And with that, that comes a single operating system and applications. And then you have your POS terminal. But if you look at this from a, a this is just a scale of retail. As you, you zoom out a little bit, you look at a retail store. And we say retail, it could be, um, as I learned, retail is, could be from a conven convenience store or retail like Costco, wholesale, it could be gas station, it could be, um, uh, yeah, there's retail, it, as you define retail, this may not completely apply to you, but uh, what I'm trying to say here is um, with the POS, sorry, um, I'm blanking here, uh, one second, I lost my train of thoughts. Um, yeah, with, with POS, what you can do here is, um, the challenge is with the re scale of retail, as you have like thousands of stores, and now you look at multiple devices within those stores, it becomes, again, really difficult and cumbersome to manage those devices. So what you can do is, actually, with VMware Retail POS solution, you, you abstract that, you decouple the hardware and the software, you run, let's say, the Windows 10 or Windows 11 um, operating system on that edge server that you see in the box at the bottom, and then you just run the thin client um, on the POS terminal. That way, again, you have decoupled the hardware and the software. What does that allow you to do? Well, now, you don't have that one-on-one, one-to-one one one relationship, right? So you can manage those endpoints the same way you would manage your data center, as in you can leverage the same tools or so very similar tools, scripts, processes to, to upgrade those virtual machines or like to manage those virtual machines that you used to do in the, store, uh, in the data center and apply those processes at, at the edge. So from a retailer perspective, what does that really mean? Well, from a, an ESG perspective or an environmental perspective, now that you have decoupled the software and the hardware, you don't have that dependency and you can extend that, the life cycle of the hardware that you already have in store. Second aspect is, hey, you're trying to if you had a dependency when you don't decouple the software and the hardware, if um, you're trying to upgrade, then you need to think of, okay, what is the downtime? What is this going, how is this going to impact me, right? But as you decouple the two, then you can minimize that downtime, which means for you, the stores can be up for a longer period of time. But not only that, if something happens along the, along the way, you can quickly roll back if need be, right? So you, you, again, the, so, the, the software, you can leverage the same tools, um, automation that you have that in data center, apply that in, at the edge, but also the learning curve from the team and IT team that's managing all of it is, you know, is not as steep, okay? So let's take a look, uh, let's drill down a little bit more into what that looks like, right? So you still have your you know, orchestration management plane sitting in the cloud, right? So that's not uh, going away. But then on what's running on the edge stack, right? Well, you have your operating system. Again, it could be Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, as a virtual machine running on, that, on those two servers. And then you have a thin client running on the POS terminal. In this case, we have our partner, Stratodesk, running on the, the POS terminal, and then you leverage VMware Horizon, uh, Horizon Blast protocol to communicate between the POS terminal and the edge, um, edge compute stack where you have your virtual machine, right? So essentially now all the, the peripherals that you see down there are not tied to the POS terminal itself because now they communicate with the edge compute stack. That's how you decouple software versus hardware. Um, when it comes to partners and OEM, 
Okay, so um, great ecosystem. I didn't like put all the logos out there, but what I want to do, we highlight is a few of them, Dell, Nvidia, Stratas, Chooch, and a lot of those hardware vendors that we, or OEM vendors that we partner with, they have their purpose-built edge servers, right? So for Dell, for example, we have the XR4000. If you want to see what it looks like, I would encourage you to come and see us at the uh, Innovation Zone. If you have not walked the floor or the Expo, come and see us. You know, we'll, we can show you what that looks like. Uh, Lenovo, for example, the SC350 and SC450, but really, um, the point of this slide is to encourage you, if you have not done so, to come and see us at the Innovation Zone where we have uh, a booth called Future of Retail. What does that look like? So in this case, what we're demoing is some of the services that we talked about uh, earlier. Private mobile network, virtual POS, and uh, one of our partner, Chooch, for edge uh, computer vision. Um, so the, what that demo looks like is, it's a complete end-to-end -end solution where you have your edge compute stack. Again, we can show you what that looks like. You have your edge compute stack, and then you have services running on top. In this case, we have the private mobile network or private 5G that allows the, con the connectivity between the cameras that you have mounted up there and the server. That, that's, again, a VMware uh, technology. And then we have our partner, Chooch, that does the computer vision. So we have two use cases that we can demo. Um, one is stock out or inventory management, where we have the shelves right there. Um, it may not be super um, visible, but we have a few items on the shelves, and you can just come and grab one of them. And you will see on the, there's two monitors on the left-hand side that says, hey, um, this product, it could be like Cheerios, Cocoa Puffs, Someone grabbed it, and now we, are, we no longer have Cocoa Puffs. So you, that triggers an alert, an email, notification to the store manager or whoever manages the inventory. Say, hey, we need to go and replenish that. Right? And as you, you know, uh, replenish it, you also get a notification that says, OK, now we're good. Other use case uh, is count, line count or counting number of people uh, in line, for example. Right? So, the demo, what we're demoing is just being able to recognize that there are people in line or like a person, a body, right? We're not recording anything we're for privacy concerns, but this just shows you, it's a use case, like it shows you what can be done with computer vision, as in, hey, we recognize a body, there's a person here, what can you do with it? What are the use cases? Well, you have, you can do heat mapping. Someone is, oh, in that specific area of the store, somehow people are always crowding that area between, I don't know, 5 and 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Why is that? Is it just, do we need to rearrange the layout because uh, of the store, the placement of the items? What is going on here? Are they, so now they are congregating here and they're just blocking the flow and people cannot walk through. It's just like inefficient. There are other things that you can do with computer vision is um, uh, demographics. So looking at facial, it's almost like facial recognition, but uh, sentiment. Hey, here's Eric sitting in front of Starbucks coffee. Next to it, there's Blue Line coffee, and next to it is, I don't know, Pitt's coffee. Why is Eric standing there for like three, well, a minute, pondering which one to get? Well, what you can do is, based on that data that you have, is let's say you have a monitor next door, hey, print a coupon or something like that, that helps Eric make a decision. Maybe it's like, hey, 20% off on Starbucks. Well, I think that may help me make, my, make up my mind. Or like play an ad, for example, right? So that's the media um, center that you can run um, in the store. So applications are almost limitless, right? So especially for computer division, AI, it's a really hot topic these days. Uh, but that, this is just an example of what you can do leveraging edge compute stack. You have different applications from connectivity, again, with private mobile networks, uh, network running as you went and SASE on top, virtualizing your point of sale, and running computer vision, right? So there's, Abby showed a slide earlier, you can, there's a number of use cases for computer vision and for edge compute stack in general. 
Um, and that, I believe that would be um, my last slide. So why VMware uh, and why VMware at the edge? Well, you know, over the past 25 years, I think we've we have a good track record of you know, helping customers, enterprises, retailers, you know, in the healthcare to modernize their infrastructure, digitize their environment. So whether it's on premises, then to the cloud, and then now at the edge, right? So we have about 300,000 organizations leveraging VMware products one way or another. We have 85 million workloads running on the VMware stack. And then we also have like about 5 million developers building on VMware today, whether it's you know, on premises, in the cloud, leveraging hyperscalers, um, you know, VMC on AWS, AVS, you name it. But that's, that's the point here. So why VMware at the edge? Again, we have the, the track record um, to prove that. So um, if you want to learn more, here are a few QR codes. So this is on the left, the main page for Edge Compute Stack. Um, but then there are also like some other great sessions that you know, happened today, yesterday, and Monday about why retail, right? So in the middle, again, this is led by the industry team, uh, led by Aaron back there. So the, it's more about like retail store modernization, not so much just edge compute stack, but what's, um, what retailers are thinking about now and you know, within the next two, three years. So I would encourage you to um, replay those sessions if you haven't so, and also come back and see us at the Innovation Zone um, on the, in Hall C. With that, take a survey, and thank you for joining us today. So now, um, I'll open up the floor for questions. Questions, we're happy to take your questions. If no questions, I have a question for, the, for you. <laughs> um, so one of them is, as we talked about the ecosystem, I'd like to hear from you, what else would you, what else that Abby hasn't covered, what has, I have not covered that is top of mind to you today? Um, is there anything that we're missing? Is there a specific partner that we should be working with? Or did we cover all of it? Or you know, I'm just missing the point. I'm open to feedback or, you know. Yes. Yeah, please. <laughs> all right, so how do you think that, is this one? Hello? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. So, how do you think that edge computing would benefit an automotive retail environment, like selling cars? In s s same, um, that's a great question, right? So, like you mentioned a lot about like POS systems and all that, but with an automotive <laughs> environment, it's like you know, you get in, they buy the car. There's like a deal that's put in through like F and I, and then like that whole process goes through and there's like a DMV stuff. Um, so, how do you think that would benefit my company? It's a great question, and actually, I'm going to the, that motion myself. Where, you know, I have two kids under three. We're looking at, you know, buying like a different car, right? So I was at the dealership probably like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and I just happened to walk the floor, look at this vehicle. Is it a sedan? Or look at the trunk space um, or cargo space. Look at Passenger, like how many passengers, like five, seven, eight, seven seater, and so on. So it's more, at least, I would leverage computer, again, computer vision to like get an idea of like why, why is Eric like standing in front of this SUV, which is a five seater instead of seven seater, or vice versa. And then get the data, and maybe it's, is it just, a pricing issue, is it more like, um, maybe not the color, but like, yeah, is it just a price uh, difference, this one versus the one next, next to it, and what is the difference, and being able to kind of like alert the store manager and say, hey, 
uh, that day, there was a promotion going on. They, they call it like red tag or something. But hey, if the store manager is aware of like Eric is standing here trying to make up his mind, what if that person is able to like on the spot, the store manager is able to do on the spot, like, hey, here's a deal for you. Like, so with that certain type of thing, yes. I would need to budget for um, cameras to be installed, many cameras, correct? In the floor space? C correct, yes. OK. But think about it this way. So you talked about some applications that you already have, mm -hmm. the different use cases that you're running already. So you have DMT checks, you have other things that have to happen, the operational things, tactical yeah. stuff, somebody's trying to buy a car. Those applications don't have to be siloed running on a, a device. Mm -hmm. What you can do is with, with the compute stack, you can buy a server mm -hmm. and you can put the compute stack on it and you can put all these applications onto that stack. Now you have one single view and if you have to now push or build or push out another new application, let's say even in one, one single store, you can do that. If you like that application, you can now push from a central plane out to these others, the other locations have that made available. The one thing with these applications through um, you know, automotive is many of them are web applications. Yes, that's totally fine. So that, that would be fine. Yes. OK. The, that sounds nice. IoT, OT, <laughs> all that is supported through the Edge Compute Stack. OK. Yeah, I have to bring it back to my boss. After that. That's yeah. Useful. And we are, happy to, we are happy to do the live demo you know, it's not just, and when we talk retail, it can be anything, like cars. You brought up a great example. Yeah. Uh, at the factory floors, you know, things like Audi is doing this whole revamp of their factory floors with us. And what they're doing is getting that single plane and single pane of glass to s deploy their applications and have, you know, different uh, use cases met. Okay. Um, the same thing for you. The, what, will the, what will this help with? it will avoid the hardware sprawl. You're not managing different infrastructure yes. for different needs. Yeah. <laughs> it's all simplified. Yes. So. And you can quickly move if you think, you know, tomorrow you want to launch something new and that's going to resonate with your customers and they can get in and out quickly, yeah. <laughs> buy your stuff and go out quickly, you can do that. Because with different regulations for automotive, um, these applications are necessary. Absolutely. There's just a shit ton of there's P there's P P yeah. So, you know, it's like, um, PCI compliance is such a big deal yeah, in retail. Course, the same, this is re the reason why retail wants to move into how do I manage this in one place? So, and do, it, do, do this for thousands of locations. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I want to open up. Sorry, sorry, back to your question. Yeah. Was, it, was it a edge pertaining to a dealership experience? Yeah. Or was it a dealership experience pertaining to a store? Because you said it was a dealership It's a dealership experience. I work for Sean. Um, it's mostly dealerships, yes. So what, what is, maybe you just share a few things, what's the, what's the challenge? What, what's the... Well, the, one of the challenges that had been brought up um, is that there's too many applications and using these applications, they have issues sometimes just because of their spotty kind of coding. But it'd be nice to have consolidation of those web applications to access them through one instance instead of all these other instances. And then another thing is um, just to drive sales as well, to have you know edge computing uh, verify like what people are doing on the sales floor and like how to better you know engage and and give you know more importance to the sale like you know that kind of thing. So I think it, this could definitely be something useful for an automotive environment for me. Yeah, I think I think for I mean, if you kind of compartmentalize for the sales. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they basically Could be anything, yeah. And that's, and that, that's still that's another type of, right? of yes. <laughs> that in the California, because uh, I'm from California, the ones
ones that I deal with are BMW and Volkswagen, and they have so many new, you know, like, yeah. you know, feature yeah, improvements, and they have like, these, you know, cars that are just really advanced yeah. with, you know, just like really advanced computers right. that need upgrades all the time. So it's, yeah, I mean, but that's like every brand. So, so I'll give you another example. I'll give you an example. So this is real time. I went into a store and I was looking for a particular heels and the shop owner couldn't connect. <laughs> so he can't tell me if that is in stock yes. or they have it. Uh, of course, I never bought this, the heels I was going in for because they couldn't give me that information. Walked into another store, they could tell me that's in stock. They have that local, they have the data locally. So they knew that it's in stock and it can be shipped. Place the order, I was out. They made yeah. the sale right there. there. There are many instances throughout the company where you know you're having to go through the cloud and go to these applications, and then there's a time down that it takes. And there's delay, yes, and, and there's delay. The customer gets mad. Absolutely. Like, okay, I'm just trying to get my car, and then this, this is goes why on. edge compute stack is yeah, important. I, I believe it would be really good for this environment because you could just pick the data very Correct. quickly and just get them out, get them Correct. out the door, because that's the thing: is the timing. And yes. it's such a big purchase that it puts so much importance to speed. Yes. So, with COVID, I started off saying that everything want, everybody wants it at their fingertips. Yeah, and if exactly. it's not there, they're like, I don't have time Even for this. Even with a giant car that has all these like <laughs> right. regulations and compliance, it's like okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you for talking to us, Jordan. Thank you. Well, come talk to us. We do have options to proof of concept these things for you. So talk to our team, and then we can get you started. Any other questions? Happy to uh, have you come to the expo booth. Check us out. There's uh, demos that are doing the virtual POC. It's uh, stored in a box. It does your cash register and a print receipt, click of a button. And that's on the demo floor. There's the car, the police car we talked about. It has the edge compute stack running in one one hardware, ruggedized hardware box, and it's doing all the you know whatever the cops would like to do, chase down license culprits, plate. license plate recognition, yeah, camera, body cams, and your you know the, everything, sending data back and forth. So that's on display. There's um, with Siemens for manufacturing floors, edge compute stack running actual full, you know, a, a manufacturing floor example with the Lego set. Go check that out. That's a cool one. So you can see that it's the, compute, the software stack that helps these different use cases 
and so it, it is right sized. You can get that with, to meet the, your demands and use, use cases as you need it. Start anywhere you are at right now, you can get started. Thank you. Good, everyone.